Sergeant Dave Bartram and his SWAT unit moved into the building. What have we got, John? Barricaded suspect named Flagler. He escaped custody and he's somewhere in there. Who got hurt? Canine Arco. The guy stabbed him. Stabbed? All right. Let's go. By the time we got to the emergency veterinary clinic, Dr. Odom had been called and was already preparing for surgery. That's all right, partner. That's all right. Everyone's here for you. There's nothing to worry about. Just hang in there. You'll be okay. I'm right here for you. You're going to be okay. God. What kind of a psycho would do this? This doesn't look good, Andy. I'm going to have to put him under. I just want him to know I'm here. Arco was in surgery for two hours. Dr. Odom was sure he would pull through, but said it would be a few days before he knew the extent of the injuries. Though he couldn't be sure, the doctor told me it was unlikely Arco would ever be able to return to duty. I went back to the station where Sergeant Bartram and his unit were closing in on Burden Flagler, leaving one man to guard each room they secured. They kept following the trail of blood Arco left behind. This is the SWAT team. We know you're in there. Now come out now. And I mean now. Is Jason still out there? Who's Jason? I killed a dog. Twisted the guy in the movies. Uh, he broke my arm and he bit me. You come on out, Mr. Flagler. Keep your hands where we can see them or we're coming in. We have the fugitive in custody. I just want to see what he looks like. That's not a good idea, Andy. Go take a walk. Andy, we all know how you feel. Don't do something stupid. It's okay, guys. You can let me go. Who's this guy? He works the canine you stabbed. Sorry about your dog, dude. <laughs> He's not worth it, Andy. Get him out of here. <laughs> you okay? How's your dog? Uh, don't make it. Might be blind or paralyzed. You guys know what happened in there? Well, we're still piecing it together, but we think so. The guy says Arco almost killed him, but he's not badly hurt. Sounds like you got one gutsy dog. Flagler had heard the canine warning and armed and concealed himself. He ambushed Arco seconds before the dog discovered his position. Though wounded, Arco fought back, biting Flagler on the hip and arms. No matter how much Flagler hurt him, Arco wouldn't let go. Flagler was so desperate to get away, he grabbed a disarmed grenade that was someone's death souvenir, hoping to blow up Arco. Your canine did exactly what he was told. He could have run back to you. But I told him to find the guy and hold him, and he did. And if you hadn't called him when you did, he would have bled to death rather than disobey an order. Everyone at the department and the entire city of Albuquerque rallied to Arco's side. There were stories about him on the news, and people called 24 hours a day to find out how he was doing. School children sent cards and bags of dog biscuits. The support was absolutely unbelievable. Arco pulled through, but his injuries left him blind in the right eye. There was no way he could go back on duty. He was retired to live with me and my family. Hey, what are you doing? Arco, you can't keep trying to come to work, buddy. Oh, it's a boy. <laughs> hey, you're retired, partner. Your days of taking a bite out of crime are over. Come on, it's more fun chasing rubber balls than bad guys. Leaving Arco behind when I went to work was as hard for me as giving up the job was for him. But the department wasn't about to forget everything he'd done. 
A few weeks later, Arco became the first canine in New Mexico to be awarded the Medal of Bravery. Vernon Flagler was so desperate, he would not have let anything or anyone stand in the way of his escape. The officers of the Albuquerque Police Department are certain that Arco's courage saved another cop's life that night. It was the type of courage we like to see in all our officers. It's the type of courage that should not go unrecognized. Clear ice not only removes redness, it has an ingredient to moisturize, too. Clear eyes. Vernon Flagler was charged with armed robbery and conspiracy to commit robbery. He was also charged with escaping police custody and causing injury to a police dog. He pled out and received six years in prison. Officer Andrew LaHockey continues to serve with the canine unit of the Albuquerque Police Department. His new partner is named Robbie. Arco is retired and lives with Officer LaHockey and his family. His best friend is Saki, the cat. <laughs> 